Victorian traditional home decor, a style that burgeoned during the reign of Queen Victoria from 1837 to 1901, is a testament to the era's inclination towards ornate aesthetics, sophistication, and a celebration of craftsmanship. This period in history was marked by the Industrial Revolution, which brought about a significant shift in social dynamics and technological advancements, influencing the architectural and interior design paradigms of the time. The characteristics of Victorian traditional home decor are reflective of the era's complex socio-economic changes, blending opulence with a keen eye for detail. The characteristic of opulence and richness in Victorian traditional home decor is a vivid reflection of the era's economic prosperity and the burgeoning middle class's desire to display their newfound wealth and social status. This period, marked by the Industrial Revolution, saw an unprecedented increase in wealth and resources, which translated into the interiors of Victorian homes. The design ethos of this time was not merely about aesthetic appeal, but also about signaling one's place in society. As a result, Victorian interiors are distinguished by a palpable sense of luxury and depth, achieved through various design elements. Color Palette The Victorian color palette is notably deep and rich, incorporating hues that signify sophistication and luxury. Dark, saturated colors such as burgundy, navy blue, emerald green, and deep purples were prevalent, often used in wallpapers, textiles, and paint. These colors added a dramatic flair to interiors, creating an ambience of luxury and warmth. The use of such colors was also a technological marvel of the time, as the Industrial Revolution brought about new dyes and pigments that made these vibrant colors possible. Textiles and Upholstery Luxury in Victorian homes was also evident in the choice of textiles and upholstery. Materials such as velvet, silk, and damask were staples in a Victorian household, used in everything from curtains to furniture coverings. These fabrics were not only chosen for their sumptuous textures, but also for their ability to convey wealth and elegance. Heavy draperies adorned windows, often layered with lighter fabrics to create a rich interplay of textures. Furniture, too, was upholstered with attention to comfort and luxury, featuring plush cushions and elaborate patterns. Wallpapers and Wall Treatments Wallpapers played a crucial role in adding richness to Victorian interiors. The era saw a surge in wallpaper production, with designs featuring intricate patterns, florals, and motifs inspired by nature, history, and the arts. The use of gold leaf and embossed wallpapers was a common practice, adding a literal and figurative layer of richness to the walls. These wallpapers were not just decorative but were considered an essential element in conveying the room's intended atmosphere and elegance. Ornamental Decor and Accessories The Victorian era's love for opulence was also evident in its use of ornamental decor and accessories. Homes were adorned with a multitude of decorative items, including vases, statuettes, ornate clocks, and elaborate picture frames. The concept of the curio cabinet came into prominence where homeowners displayed collections of objets d'art, porcelain, and other treasures that spoke of their travels, interests, and refined taste. This accumulation of objects was not seen as clutter, but as a curated display of wealth and cultural capital. Lighting Lighting fixtures in Victorian homes were designed to exude luxury and grandeur. With the advent of gas lighting, chandeliers became more ornate and elaborate, often made of brass or crystal casting a warm, ambient glow that highlighted the richness of the interiors. Table lamps with stained glass shades added splashes of color and sophistication to rooms, further enhancing the opulence of the decor. The opulence and richness of Victorian traditional home decor were a direct manifestation of the era's economic conditions, technological advancements, and social aspirations. The Victorian home was a canvas for expression, where every color, texture, an object was meticulously chosen to convey a sense of luxury, sophistication, and status. This approach to interior design created spaces that were not only visually stunning but also emblematic of the era's complex socio-cultural dynamics. The Victorian era is often heralded for its extraordinary attention to intricate detailing and craftsmanship, aspects that set it apart as a period of design that cherished the elaborate and the ornamental. 
This emphasis on detail and craftsmanship was not merely a stylistic preference but a reflection of the era's broader cultural values, including a deep respect for artistry, the burgeoning possibilities afforded by the Industrial Revolution, and a keen interest in personal expression through the domestic environment. Furniture Design Victorian furniture is emblematic of the era's love for intricate detailing and craftsmanship. Designers and craftsmen of the time took inspiration from a myriad of sources, including Gothic, Rococo, and later, arts and crafts movements, infusing pieces with a complexity and elegance that were unparalleled. Furniture pieces often featured elaborate woodwork, with intricate carvings depicting floral motifs, vines, and even narratives drawn from mythology or literature. The process of marquetry, where pieces of different colored woods are inlaid to create patterns or scenes, was also popular, showcasing the high level of skill and attention to detail that craftsmen of the time possessed. Architectural Elements The Victorian penchant for intricate detailing extended beyond movable decor to the very architecture of homes. Door frames, window casings, and staircases were often works of art in their own right, featuring elaborate carvings and moldings. Ceiling medallions and cornices were embellished with stucco work, offering a three-dimensional aspect to the decorative scheme. Even functional elements like fireplaces were treated as opportunities for ornamentation, with mantles carved in high relief and fitted with intricate tile work that reflected the aesthetic aspirations of the homeowner. Textiles and Wallpaper In the realm of textiles and wallpaper, the Victorian era's commitment to craftsmanship and detail was equally evident. Textiles were richly patterned with elaborate designs, often incorporating floral and natural motifs, rendered with a level of detail that required expert weaving. Wallpaper design reached new heights of creativity and technical prowess, with patterns ranging from intricate florals and foliage to elaborate geometric patterns and scenes inspired by history, mythology, and the natural world. The production of such wallpapers often involved complex processes and a high degree of skill, making them symbols of luxury and taste. Metalwork in Glass Metalwork, including brass, silver, and wrought iron, was frequently employed in Victorian decor, with items ranging from door hardware and lighting fixtures to decorative objects and jewelry. These pieces often featured intricate patterns, with craftsmen employing techniques like etching, engraving, and filigree to create detailed designs. Similarly, glasswork of the period, including stained glass windows and lampshades, was characterized by its intricate patterns and vibrant colors, requiring a high level of skill and artistry to produce. Ceramics and Porcelain The era also saw a flourish in the production of ceramics and porcelain, with items such as vases, figurines, and dinnerware becoming commonplace in Victorian homes. These items were often elaborately decorated with intricate designs, hand-painted scenes, and gilded edges, reflecting the era's love for detailed and handcrafted items. The Victorian era's commitment to intricate detailing and craftsmanship was more than an aesthetic choice. It was a reflection of the period's values and its fascination with beauty, complexity, and the capacity of human skill. This attention to detail not only enriched the visual environment, but also served as a marker of social status and personal taste, making the craftsmanship of the Victorian period a lasting legacy in the annals of design history. The Victorian approach to interior design was characterized by an unapologetic embrace of layering and texture, creating interiors that were visually rich and deeply tactile. This layering was not merely a stylistic choice but a reflection of the era's broader cultural and technological advances, as well as its complex social codes. The layering of textures, patterns, and materials in Victorian homes created spaces that were dynamic, comforting, and reflective of the occupant's tastes and interests. Textile Abundance One of the most prominent examples of this layering is found in the use of textiles throughout Victorian interiors. Heavy, opulent fabrics such as velvet, silk, and brocade were used in abundance, serving as drapery, upholstery, and even wall coverings. These materials added depth and warmth to rooms, absorbing light and creating a sense of coziness and privacy that was highly valued. The practice of layering different textiles, combining curtains, throws, tablecloths, and tapestries, was common, adding not just physical warmth but also visual complexity to the spaces. Pattern Mixing 
Victorian decor was known for its fearless mixing of patterns. Floral wallpapers could be paired with striped upholstery and geometric floor tiles, a testament to the era's eclectic tastes. This mixing of patterns, far from being seen as clashing, was embraced as a way to add interest and variety to interiors. It was a deliberate move to ensure that rooms felt lived in and personal, with each layer of pattern telling a part of the household story. The ability to skillfully mix patterns also showcased the homeowner's sophistication and understanding of design principles. Ornamental Detailing The texture in Victorian homes was not limited to soft furnishings. It extended to the walls and ceilings through ornamental plasterwork and intricate wood carvings. Ceilings often featured elaborate medallions and cornices, while wood paneling and wainscoting added both visual and tactile texture to walls. This detailing was not merely decorative. It was part of the fabric of the home, adding to the overall sense of depth and richness that characterized Victorian interiors. Flooring and Rugs Victorian floors were rarely left bare. Instead, they were adorned with layered rugs and carpets that added texture and color. Oriental rugs were particularly prized for their intricate patterns and durability, often placed over wall-to-wall -wall carpeting for added interest. In more formal spaces, Parquet flooring with intricate patterns could serve as the room's visual foundation, with area rugs providing warmth and color. Accessories and Collectibles The Victorian love for layering extended to the use of accessories and collectibles within the home. Rooms were adorned with an array of objects that ranged from books, photographs, and artworks to ceramics, glassware, and souvenirs from travels. Each item added its own texture, color, and story to the space contributing to the layered, eclectic look that was quintessentially Victorian. This accumulation of objects was a way to display personal interests and experiences, turning homes into personal museums of sorts. The layering and texture in Victorian traditional home decor reflect a period of design that was rich in complexity and depth. This approach to interior design created environments that were not only visually stimulating but also richly symbolic offering a glimpse into the lives, interests, and values of the occupants. The Victorian era's legacy of layering and texture continues to inspire designers today, serving as a reminder of the power of decor to create atmospheres that are both comforting and expressive. Eclecticism in Victorian traditional home decor stands as a hallmark of the era, mirroring the period's expansive curiosity, imperial reach, and a burgeoning middle class with an appetite for variety and display. This eclectic approach to design was not just a stylistic choice, but a reflection of a society undergoing rapid change, one that was eager to embrace the new and the novel from across the globe and from different historical periods. Victorian eclecticism was characterized by a harmonious blend of diverse styles, a testament to the era's complex cultural landscape and its technological advancements in manufacturing and global trade. Global Influences The Victorian era was a time of empire and expansion, bringing a wealth of foreign design influences into British homes. Objects and styles from the far corners of the British Empire, as well as those imported from Europe and Asia, found their place in Victorian interiors. Chinese porcelain, Persian rugs, Japanese screens, and Egyptian motifs could all coexist in a single room, each contributing to a rich tapestry of global design influences. This was a direct result of increased travel and trade, which exposed Victorians to a wider array of design traditions than ever before. Historical Styles Victorian eclecticism also drew heavily on historical styles, with architects and designers often combining elements from different periods and regions. Gothic Revival, Neoclassical, and Renaissance influences were merged with contemporary design ideas, creating spaces that were both nostalgic and modern. This melding of the old and the new allowed for creative expression and personalization in home decor, as homeowners mixed and matched elements according to their tastes and interests. Technological Innovation The technological innovations of the Victorian era played a crucial role in facilitating this eclectic approach to design. The Industrial Revolution introduced mass production techniques that made a wide variety of decorative items more accessible to the burgeoning middle class. Wallpapers, Textiles and ceramics could be produced in greater quantities and at lower costs, allowing for a wider range of styles and patterns to be available. 
This democratization of design elements meant that Victorian homes could feature an eclectic mix of high and low, traditional and modern, all within the same space. Personal expression. At the core of Victorian eclecticism was a desire for personal expression. The Victorian home was seen as a reflection of the owner's tastes, interests, and social status. This led to interiors that were highly individualized, with each room often serving as a canvas for the homeowner's preferences and passions. The eclectic approach allowed for a personal curation of styles and objects, from fine art to souvenirs from travels, each telling a story or reflecting a facet of the owner's identity. Architectural Eclecticism This penchant for eclecticism was not confined to interior decor, but extended to architecture as well. Victorian homes often featured a blend of architectural elements from different periods and styles, with facades that could include Gothic arches, classical columns, and Tudor timbering. This architectural eclecticism provided a visually striking streetscape and underscored the era's fascination with blending the old and the new, the familiar and the exotic. The eclecticism of Victorian traditional home decor is a reflection of an era characterized by an expansive worldview, a passion for history, and an embrace of technological innovation. This eclectic approach resulted in interiors that were deeply personal and richly varied, offering a visual feast that was uniquely Victorian. It speaks to a time when the home became a microcosm of the broader world, filled with objects and styles that reflected the complexities and curiosities of the age. The Victorian era, often celebrated for its opulent aesthetics and intricate detailing, also marked a significant period where functionality began to play a pivotal role in home design. This emphasis on functionality was not just a practical consideration but a reflection of the era's innovative spirit and the evolving needs of its inhabitants. As the Industrial Revolution spurred technological advancements and societal changes, the design of Victorian homes and their interiors adapted to incorporate new inventions, improving the daily lives of their residents while maintaining the era's characteristic decorative flair. Innovative Home Layouts The Victorian period saw a shift towards more specialized room functions, moving away from the multi-purpose spaces of earlier times. Homes were designed with distinct areas for dining, entertaining, and privacy, reflecting a growing understanding of the importance of functionality in residential architecture. The introduction of hallways and corridors allowed for more private room arrangements, enabling a separation of public and private spaces within the home. This architectural evolution showcased a keen attention to the practicalities of daily life while accommodating the era's social customs. Technological Advancements in the Home Victorian homes were among the first to benefit from the era's technological innovations, including gas lighting, indoor plumbing, and central heating. These advancements significantly improved living conditions, extending the hours homes could be used comfortably and enhancing sanitation. Gas lighting, for instance, replaced candles and oil lamps, providing brighter and more reliable illumination that transformed evening activities and home decor. Similarly, the advent of indoor plumbing and central heating systems marked a significant leap forward in convenience and comfort, reflecting the era's emphasis on improving everyday life through technology. Furniture with a Purpose Furniture design during the Victorian era also mirrored the period's emphasis on functionality. Multifunctional pieces became increasingly popular, catering to the needs of compact living spaces and the desire for convenience. Examples include the writing desk with built-in storage, the dining table with extendable leaves, and the chaise lounge that served both as seating and a day bed. These pieces were not only beautifully crafted, but also designed with an eye towards maximizing utility and efficiency in the home. Adaptation to New Lifestyles As the Industrial Revolution changed the fabric of society, Victorian home decor evolved to meet the needs of a new middle class. This included the incorporation of more comfortable and casual living spaces, such as the morning room or the drawing room, where families could gather informally. The design of these spaces reflected an understanding of the home as not just a showcase of wealth and taste, but also a place for relaxation and family life. Tension to Health and Hygiene The Victorian era also saw an increased focus on health and hygiene within the home, influenced by the public health movement of the time. This was reflected in the design of homes and interiors, with features like improved ventilation systems to ensure fresh air and the use of easy-to-clean materials such as tile and linoleum. 
The layout of kitchens and bathrooms was carefully considered to promote cleanliness and reduce the spread of disease, underscoring the era's commitment to combining aesthetic considerations with practical health benefits. The emphasis on functionality in Victorian traditional home decor represents a period of transition where innovation and tradition intersected to create living spaces that were both beautiful and practical. This focus on functionality did not detract from the era's ornate aesthetic, but instead added a new dimension to it, reflecting the Victorian ethos of progress and improvement. The legacy of this period is still evident today, in the continued appreciation for designs that marry form with function in the creation of comfortable, livable spaces. The Victorian era, a period marked by rapid industrialization and complex social dynamics, also witnessed a deep immersion in symbolism and sentimentality in home decor. This characteristic was not merely a superficial layer of Victorian aesthetics, but a profound expression of the era's values, beliefs, and the collective Victorian psyche. The domestic environment became a canvas for expressing not just individual taste, but also broader cultural narratives, personal memories, and a keen sense of morality and spirituality. This dimension of Victorian home decor underscores the intricate relationship between the material and the symbolic, where everyday objects were imbued with deeper meanings and emotional significance. Floral Symbolism One of the most prominent examples of Victorian symbolism can be seen in the use of floral motifs, which were pervasive in wallpapers, textiles, ceramics, and even in the language of flowers, a complex system where specific flowers represented different emotions, messages, or sentiments. Roses, for example, were symbols of love and beauty, while lilies often represented purity and renewal. This floral symbolism extended beyond mere decoration. It was a form of nonverbal communication, reflecting the Victorians' fascination with nature's symbolism and its capacity to express complex human emotions and moral values. Mourning and Memory Victorian society had a particular preoccupation with death and mourning largely due to high mortality rates and the influence of Queen Victoria's own extended mourning period for Prince Albert. This fascination with mourning was reflected in home decor, with the inclusion of mourning portraits, hair jewelry, and other memorabilia designed to commemorate lost loved ones. These items served as poignant reminders of the fragility of life and the importance of memory and legacy, integrating personal loss and remembrance into the fabric of everyday life. Spirituality and Superstition The Victorian era was also a time of intense spiritual exploration, with a keen interest in the supernatural and the mystical. This curiosity was often reflected in home decor, with symbols believed to ward off evil spirits or bring good luck integrated into the designs of homes. For example, the use of horseshoes, hidden charms, or architectural details designed to confuse or deter malevolent spirits were not uncommon. This blend of spirituality and superstition reveals the Victorians' desire to imbue their homes with protective energies and to reflect their spiritual beliefs through physical objects and designs. Heirlooms and Keepsakes Sentimentality in Victorian home decor was also expressed through the cherished display of heirlooms and keepsakes. Family portraits, inherited furniture, and personal mementos were prominently featured in homes serving as tangible links to the past and expressions of familial continuity and identity. These items were not merely decorative but were revered as sacred connections to lineage and heritage, embodying the Victorian reverence for family and tradition. Allegorical and Moral Symbolism Lastly, Victorian home decor often included allegorical and moral symbolism, reflecting the era's moral codes and educational ideals. Artworks and decorative objects frequently depicted moral tales, virtues, or historical narratives intended to instruct and inspire. The presence of such symbolism in the home served as a constant reminder of the moral and ethical standards valued by Victorian society, reinforcing the home's role as a sanctuary of moral fortitude and intellectual engagement. The symbolism and sentimentality woven into the fabric of Victorian traditional home decor reveal a rich tapestry of cultural narratives, personal affections, and moral values. This aspect of Victorian design offers a window into the era's complex emotional landscape, where the domestic environment was charged with meanings and memories, serving as a mirror to the multifaceted Victorian soul.
The enduring fascination with Victorian decor reflects not just an appreciation for its aesthetic qualities, but also a deep resonance with the symbolic and sentimental dimensions that define this rich period in design history. In conclusion, Victorian traditional home decor is a rich tapestry of opulence, intricate detailing, and a blend of various stylistic influences. It reflects a period in history where art and craftsmanship were highly valued, and homes were seen as sanctuaries filled with beauty, warmth, and personal expression. The enduring appeal of Victorian decor lies in its ability to evoke a sense of grandeur and timelessness, making it a cherished style in the realm of interior design even today.